Watch Cardboard Command. If you don't, your mom won't give you as many kisses at night. Welcome to Jank Divers, where we delve deep into Magic's history to find those cards that will make your pod say, what the hell is that? Starting with Mangara's Tome. According to EDHREC, it's found in 62 decks, or a whopping 0% of all total decks. Mangara's Tome is a 5 to cast colorless artifact that says, When Mangara's Tome enters the battlefield, search your library for 5 cards, exile them in a face down pile, and shuffle that pile, then shuffle your library. You can pay 2, and then the next time you would draw a card this turn, instead put the top card of the exiled pile into its owner's hand. Paying 7 to tutor 1 is not a powerful effect but tutoring five cards for five colorless mana can be useful in the right decks, especially decks that don't have access to powerful black tutors. Cards such as Eternal Scourge and Mist Hollow Griffin can all be cast from exile and all go infinite with Food Chain. Tutoring these cards with Mangara's Tome will leave these cards in exile for easy access later. On the usefulness scale, we give this card a jank. Let us know in the comments below if you think of anything else fun or janky to do with this card. The next card is Plague of Vermin. Plague of Vermin is a 7 to cast black sorcery that says, Starting with you, each player may pay any amount of life. Repeat this process until no one pays life. Each player creates a 1-1 black rat creature token for each one life they paid this way. Now mono black is arguably the best mono color in the format, but it's hard to argue that black is the best at sacking creatures for value. Dropping 20 rats into the field in almost any circumstance is just good magic. The best part about this card is that it often forces the other players at the table to make tough decisions, especially about how much life to lose in order to defend themselves from this monstrous army. A great combo is Plague of Vermin, followed by Black Sun Zenith for one. This kills all rats on the field, giving you a ton of death triggers. This could easily be a game winner in decks such as Hypatra and Sir Conrad. Cheeky stuff. This card really is a hidden gem. Grinning Totem. According to EDH Rec, Grinning Totem can be found in 217 decks, or a whopping total of 0.06% of all total decks. Grinning Totem is a 4 to cast colorless artifact that says, Pay 2, tap and sack Grinning Totem. Search target opponent's library for a card and exile it. Then, that player shuffles his or her library. Until the beginning of your next upkeep, you may play that card. At the beginning of your next upkeep, if you haven't played it, put it into its owner's graveyard. What if I told you that you could tutor any card in your opponent's library, and cast that card for an additional two colorless? Is that something you'd be interested in? If so, let me paint you a picture. The board is full of massive creatures, and you are dead if you don't do something about it right now. You untap, you draw, and it's a land. Well, I think I will go ahead and search the white player's deck and see if I can't cast a wrath of some kind. Is your mono white deck about to go off, but you can tell that that pesky blue player is holding another counter spell? Well, just hold up 5 mana and counter their counter spell with one of their own out of their deck. Nothing more satisfying. Now there are obvious drawbacks. 1. The additional 2 mana. EDH is fast paced and often it isn't advantageous to hold up mana, but if you untap and have no great options, Gritting Totem can help you get almost anything you need in the moment. Two. This is pretty obvious, but if you are a monocolor deck, you're going to need rocks or specific lands in play to use this ability for anything out of your deck's color range. But, luckily in EDH, most decks run mana rocks. Big benefits. Now besides the obvious help you out of a jam benefit this card has, I think what Gritting Totem can do best is help your deck do the things it cannot do easily. For example, white card draw. Or how about red and black enchantment removal? The list goes on, but for 25 cents, I think that it's worth giving it a shot. I know I will, and I will report back with the results. Don't think this jank is gonna work? Well, come watch us play it live next week at 7 p.m. and find out for yourself. 